Hello, in this video we're going to look at doing a Wilcox and Sign Rank test using R. We're going to be using the example data from chapter 8 in the book which has the amount of time you spent grazing when they have a lamb and when they don't have a lamb and we're going to be using the code from the help sheet which is downloadable from the online resource centre. Here's a copy here. You can see the first part of that help sheet has how to create a tab delineated file uh, on uh, using Excel that we can use in the uh, analysis. You can either create a file yourself using these instructions or you can download a pre-made copy of the data file from the online resource center. You'll notice that the file has three columns the ID of the U, which is just a reference really, and then for each U, the amount of time they spend grazing with out a lamb and then with a lamb. Let's uh, get going with the analysis. We need to bring up R. If you want to know how to get R to look like I've got it here, use the introductory video. I've got the R console on the right and the R editor window on the left. I need to put some code in, so let's go to the help sheet and find the code. Go down here. Control. Oh, sorry, no, we need to highlight it first. Shift and highlight. Copy and paste. Go to back to R, paste it in the R editor window. Just a little tidying up to do this. Just make sure all those notes are on the same line and just for, func not for functionality, but just to make things clear, just add a return between the two main bits of, of um, sections of the code. Okay, so first thing to do is to change the names, the stars to names in this first bit here that's about importing data into R. So delete that. We're going to create an object called use and then we're going to attach the column labels and then print those out so we can see exactly how they're spelled so that we can put that into the next bit of code. So let's, hi let's highlight that. Control R. Navigate to where you keep your data. And you can see that it's printed out the column labels up here. And these, the, these are the two that we'll be interested in. So we can now go to the bit of code here that actually does the conducting of the test. And we put uh, the, the labels in here, text in here, just as it appears on the right hand side. And let's run that then. So highlight it, control R, didn't like that. So, oh that's easy, that's, a, that's just telling me I, I spelt this wrong. If you see here, I forgot the C. So we go back here and just add that C in there and then it should, sorry, we, we add, it, add it here. So it was just a typo on my part. That, that, you have to be careful with that with R. It will, you will get errors if you don't type things exactly as they should be. All right, so control R again, and there you go. There's time it's done it, no problem. Here we have our statistic, our p-value. We have our, our estimate of sample as of, of, of effect size and our confidence intervals for that effect size. If you want to get to check the sample size, you need to. There's a bit of code uh, in the additional notes on the help sheet, and that's it. You're done.